The Broadway musical sensation Be More Chill tells the story of a nerdy high school student who ingests a pill-sized supercomputer that makes him cool. The original production of this teen anxiety sci-fi driven show opened at the Two River Theater in New Jersey back in 2015 and closed after just four weeks largely as a result of a tepid New York Times review. But then the cast made an album of this Joe Iconis musical and the rest, as they say, is history. Fans across the globe have now streamed the album more than 300 million times. An off-Broadway run last summer sold out before the first performance. And Be More Chill is now breaking records at the Lyceum Theater on Broadway, where it opened in March. Here's a look. You want to be more chill. Oh, you mean cool. I do not. Everything about you is going to be wonderful. We love everything about you. Everything about you. And joining us now are the two stars of Be More Chill, Will Rowland and George Salazar. Guys, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks what a for having us. Thanks for having us. Happy to be here. So, as you guys know, there are hundreds of young people who would literally pay big money to have the opportunity to sit here to talk to you guys. <laughs> you know, and I'm not joking, and you know I'm not joking, or exaggerating, that would happen. That's the kind of phenomenon that this play has become. How have you guys dealt with this amazing fandom. Let me start with you. The rise in popularity of this show kind of, uh, I've, I, we've, Joe Iconis and I have talked about how uh, he and I have been in the eye of the storm. Mm -hmm. uh, Michael in the Bathroom, the song that I sing in act yeah. two has kind of be become this like gateway drug, pun intended, <laughs> yeah. um, uh, for people to get into be more chill. And so it's been, it's been wild. It's been really crazy to see this like uh, explosion. And that's the best way to describe yeah. it this explosion in popularity, um, and then also to meet these young people face to face. Yeah. Um, their passion for this show yeah. is uh, like nothing I've ever experienced. Yeah. And we'll talk about yeah. that in a second. So, you know, how does this compare to, you know, to Dear Evan Hansen and this experience? The thing about Be More Chill is that we truly are here every night because of these fans and their enthusiasm. Um, I talk about them, uh, you know, I, th I think about uh, the relationship that I have with the fans, uh, not dissimilarly to how I think about like my family, <laughs> um, in terms of like there's so much uh, that I'm so grateful for and also at times I'm like they give me a little bit of anxiety because I'm just like kind of I mean, I'm just sort of like a, yeah. I'm a, I'm kind of like a private person and I'm, yeah. so sometimes I get a little like skittish Boy, but you but, picked the wrong career <laughs> <laughs> I did this is gonna be a real problem moving forward a, a lot of young people I mean as the reason I said that they would come here to pay to come here because they do pay to go see <laughs> the play. They they paid from every continent, I understand, to go see it uh, yeah, when it was yeah, off Broadway. Yeah. Your cabaret that you do with Joe Iconis, they come from uh, across the world to Brazil see that. And so they pay. Yeah, yeah. Um, you talk to these kids. What do they say to you and what do you say to them? The things that I'm hearing, both from, from them and from their parents. You mm -hmm. know, there was one dad who uh, pulled me aside and thanked me and said that his uh, daughter uh, spent some time uh, in a hospital for harming herself. And this show, particularly the last song of the musical, Voices in My Head, helped her kind of find comfort um, and security uh, and um, and solace and, and, and helped her kind yeah. of so overcome they, her own demons. Yeah. And so to know that this thing that we make together as friends has had such a positive uh, impact on, on and a real, very real impact on the lives of young people and their relationships with their parents has been like a really cool Amazing. thing to be yeah. a part of. Uh, so, Will, you know, the, the play has been characterized in various ways. Uh, often it's like, a, the people say it's a cross between Dear Evan Hansen or Mean Girls, Dear Evan Hansen, or uh, A Little Shop of Horrors, even Dear Evan Hansen and Napoleon Dynamite, I heard <laughs> that. How would you characterize it? Um, I love to say I, I, I love the the Little Shop of Horrors comparisons. I always used, love to use that as half of it. Um, I love when people talk about the Matrix. Um, I think a lot about Ready Player One, which was like a big you know big phenomenon last summer. It, you know, it has this sort of 
um, this retro futurist thing going on. You know, the, the vibe of the show is very much these sort of, these films, especially in the 80s, where we sort of imagined what the future would be like, yeah. um, but it takes place right now. Um, and part of the fun of it is, you know, to speak to what you were talking about, you know, we're trying to tackle heavy issues here. We're trying to really speak to the, the, the honest problems that young people today are going through, but we want to do it in a lens that's not so, uh, you know, boohoo. Um, you know, that we can all sort of sit there and, and laugh at ourselves a little bit. And, and I think part of, you know, the success of Michael in the Bathroom and part of what makes Voices in My Head such an effective uh, anthem is, you know, basically at the end of our show, uh, we don't walk out saying like, you know what's gonna happen, guys? You're gonna grow up and it's all gonna be fine. Because it just isn't true. <laughs> it's like, the, the truth is, yeah. it's much more nuanced. And, and these uh, these ideas of doubt, and you know, this idea of, you know, feeling like an imposter, or feeling like you don't deserve something, uh, that like never ever goes away. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it sort of like chills out a little mm -hmm. bit. And so what we're trying to present to, especially the young people, but all of our audiences is, you know, yes, it's hard. And and it's going to stay hard, but you are going to make it through, and it's going to be okay. And that, I think, is you know what we watch Jeremy do every night. He goes on this journey to sort of become someone he's not, um, but ultimately discovers like actually the humanity in me and the weirdness of me are the best parts yeah. of me. Well, I tell you, it's been a few years since I graduated from high school, and I loved it. So it's obviously not only Us for too. young people. <laughs> you guys are terrific in the play, and and you're really nice guys too. I really am so happy to have met you. Oh, thank thanks so you. much for joining us. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. Be more chill, starring Will Rowan and George Salazar, is now playing at the Lyceum Theater. For more information, you can visit our website at metrofocus.org.